Disruptive innovation. What's that all about, Eric? Milwaukee's motto. Milwaukee's motto. What they do is they enter a market that they're not in. They go crazy and say, hey, we're going to disruptly, disruptively innovate you. Or a and market they're already in. Or they're yeah. already in. And basically that means that they're going to go and shake things up. That if pliers have been looking for the same for 20 years, they're going to go in and make some kind of new plier that's going to blow everybody's mind, make it super quality, and uh, hit the market. Yep. Hand tools. I love their hand tools. But now, flashlights. Uh, the earlier Milwaukee flashlight, the old 12 volt, I wasn't a big fan of. The it was, incandescent one? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, even the LED one I wasn't a big fan of. It just seemed like they just took an LED and threw it in an incandescent one. Well, at the time, I think it was good, but now if you see that stick light, you know, right, you can right. look back at it and go, wow, that's a big jump. Right. And now with the stick light, you know, what like Eric was talking about, we love that thing. It has a protective glass on the front. Any chemicals, you damage it, it's easy to replace. Uh, it has a nice soft hue to it, more yellow. Mm -hmm. Hue. This is just a plain pure white. Uh, this thing's super bright though. I love it. It is. What do we got, Eric? It's the Milwaukee M18 floodlight. Uh, it works off of an XC battery or a compact battery. Uh, you can see it's got an octagon shape, which makes it very cool for a couple different reasons. A, it offers protection. It's actually wider or stands out more than the actual light itself. So if it does fall, get kicked around or something like that, it actually protects the light. The other feature that it does is because it's the octagon, you can actually set it up any way you want to. Put light straight up and do that. So it kind of acts like as a base, basically. Yeah, it's very versatile in the way that you can set it up. Yeah, it that's is. For sure. It is. And speaking of that, too, there's other things that you can do with it, too. Obviously, you can set it up like this if you want to. But it's got a nice pass through right here. So you can put some wire through there, hang it from a ceiling, keyhole on the back, uh, put a nail in, pop it on the wall, something like that. And then as Dan was talking about, what's this hole for? Uh, EMT conduit. So if you're an electrician on site, just grab a piece of EMT. You can make a two foot light or you can make a 10 foot. Well, yeah. I don't know however long EMT goes. Well, you can make it whatever you want to. I mean, you yeah. Can, but basically it pops right down there half inch. So Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, we first saw this at the Milwaukee Symposium when we went out there last summer and uh, they took us into this dark room and the lights went out. And I seriously thought I was getting raped by this guy. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> boom. It was like daylight. They turned this thing on, and we were just amazed. And if I remember, I think he threw it down the hallway. Did he? Or yeah, that, I mean, it's... that might have been just what I was thinking I would do. But I think he threw it down the hallway because yeah. it's tough. But like Eric said, I mean, it's just great. It's got these LEDs, and they're not cheap LEDs. They're on die, on chip LEDs, uh, kind of like crease, crease style LEDs, mm -hmm. which just put off a mass amount of light. And that, along with the reflectors in there, actually does a great job. Those two combinations really throws a lot of light out there. Absolutely. Plus, you know, Milwaukee, they're kind of in electronics and stuff like that, so I'm sure they've pretty much taken every drop of power coming out of the M18 battery and kind of tunneled it towards that in the most efficient way possible. Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 what, is that like a salesman, man? <laughs> By the Milwaukee, um, like, like the uh, old days. Remember those wagons that they used to drive around? Like, did you ever see Django? Yeah, you saw Django. When the guy's forget, in the medicine yeah. with the uh, thing on the top. I We're going to exactly. drive around in, like, horse carriages selling Milwaukee likes. Like yeah, the old exactly. Days. Yeah. Just gather around, people. On the front, too, there's four screws um, that you can actually take off. So if you do... Um, Break, crack, scratch, whatever. Or chemical that, damages it, anything yeah, like that. Yeah, you can replace, you can replace it. it, which is nice too. Three buttons on the front, on off switch basically. Then you can do your high, your low. High, you're going to get roughly between six and eight hours of runtime. Low, you're going to get, no, I'm sorry, low, you're going to get roughly between six and eight hours of runtime. And on high, three to four hours of runtime. Um, five year warranty for Milwaukee? Five year on the actual light, three years on the battery. But, Overall, I think it's a nice light, man. It's a nice, and you know what's nice about it is that it is LED. Now, I don't expect much from LED lights, so this one really surprised me. But like when I was doing my bathroom, I had a, uh, one of those halogen bulbs, and it was the middle of summertime. Oh, they get I'm, hot. And I'm in a small room, so it was really making it hot in there. Now, in wintertime, that's fine. I could use the extra heat, but something like this, when it runs cool, you don't have to worry about burning yourself. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting all that extra heat in there. Yeah, I mean, this so, thing is, I don't even, look at that. This thing is crazy bright. And, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, hopefully we're going to represent this with some pictures and stuff, overlays in the video and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it, it's just great stuff. I mean, Milwaukee really is disruptive innovation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice light. It's durable. Well, I mean, it seems durable. You know. Oh, my gosh. It just so, fell apart in a million pieces. Yes. <laughs> no, it didn't. It's, wow, I can't believe Eric did that with his light. That's so, crazy. You know actually, why he did that? Because I got a light also, and he'll just take mine if it broke. True. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, it wouldn't break. It's pretty tough, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, 
Uh, they did a nice job designing this thing. I like it. I like the, just all the different ways, the durability. I like all the different ways that you can actually set this light up and use it. Because it's always a pain in the butt, you know, when you're trying to work with something with light. It's trying to get it in the right angle so you're not in front of it, you know. So. Yeah, and I mean, this thing mostly kind of resembles, except for the ruggedness part, the Sys light from Festool. I don't know if you I remember it. doing that, yeah. but I don't remember, like, the comparison kind between. Kind of the same kind of, like, really bright, astonishing light. So, mm -hmm. um, pretty cool. Uh, but we're going to Vegas. We're going to be in Vegas probably when this video posts. So, uh, we'll be checking stuff out there. What else? I think that's about it. All right. Um, and then Ultimate Tool Bag giveaway is coming up. You know, we're going to be adding more stuff to it. Yep. So, and I apologize, we always try to get back to you on YouTube, but YouTube just did some crazy change now where it integrates with Google Plus. Yeah, we can't figure no out how idea. to reply. Yet. Yeah, and the other we thing will. we want to let you know too is don't forget to sign up for our newsletter because 2014 we're going to be doing some crazy things. We're going to be selling your names to everybody. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> No. We're gonna be selling yeah. your names for five bucks. Yeah, exactly. every, any spammer we can find. So make yeah. sure you put your address in. Yeah. No, we're no, all, but actually, honestly, we're, 2014. We're gonna do some crazy stuff with the newsletter. We don't sell any. Yeah, we don't names sell your information like at all, no. whatsoever. So just so, so you know. Don't forget I mean, to sign up. You can win some crazy tools that are only gonna be through the newsletter. So really? Yep. <laughs> why am I just finding out about this? You know, we talked about it last week. Obviously, you don't remember things. So no, that's why I got. Because you got a this. fire going outside. Now the smoke's coming in. Eric decides yeah, like this huge see fire. You, dude. It's so smoky in here. Man, I'm it's having hard. a hard time breathing. It's like, good, man. Keep breathing that in. Yeah, right. It's whatever. Hard. I got yelled at this guy today from. Uh, he's like, "Stop and get a sheet of plywood." So I'm like, "All right, I get a sheet of plywood." It's like 26 bucks, and he started yelling at me. It's like he's expensive. Well, yeah, I wanted a cheap piece, not the BC plywood. That is cheap. The they had like 44 dollar pieces. There. No, I understand. It. Yeah, that's. I'm glad you didn't go with that one. The yeah. Four dollar <laughs> one. No, just Man. something we can cut up. Just, they got cheap stuff for 18, 19 bucks, you know. Yeah, well, if you answered your phone, that wouldn't happen. That's true. So. Good point. But All right. Check it out. MilwaukeeTool.com. Can't go wrong. We love Milwaukee. <clears throat> check it out. Tools in action.